Morning, everyone. Welcome to English Composition One Summer Session, purely online through Western Technical College. I am your instructor, Amory Bodelson, and I wanted to just do a quick introductory video, put a face to a name and a voice, and walk you through a little bit of the Blackboard shell so that you know where you're going and what you're doing this first week. So again, because of COVID, we are doing most of our classes purely online. So there is no meeting time or place for this class. It will all be asynchronous, meaning that you have your own time to work on um, assignments. There will be weekly assignments due Mondays and Thursdays at midnight by midnight, and they will be both on Blackboard and MindTap, your online textbook. So you will find that all of the information is already laid out in weekly folders on Blackboard. Most of the information is already there. And so if you have time and want to work ahead, say take your quizzes ahead of time, you are certainly welcome to do that. Uh, I do have things segmented out by weeks and I have assignments due each week, but you can certainly work ahead. Uh, I wanted to walk us through some of the things I want you to pay attention to on Blackboard and then show you how to get into your online text. So this is our Blackboard shell, and hopefully every time you come in here, you're taking a quick look at the announcements. This is where you'll see weekly reminders of what's due and when, and then any important uh, updates or announcements that I place there. So check your announcements every time you log in, and then go to assignments. For assignments, like I said, you will see that I have put all of your weekly folders, and when you click those, you will see uh, assignments that are due through both Blackboard and MindTap, which is your online text, and I have arranged them by week. And the other component of this class is that your textbook is online and it is through Cengage. So some of you may have taken a class before that uses the Cengage text and you're familiar with the format and the, the interface. Great, many of you will not have done so yet. So what I want you to remember is that in order to access the textbook correctly and to access our courses textbook, you want to go through our Blackboard shell and click the link in our assignments area. This will take you directly to our class and it will get you registered in the proper class. If you go outside and type in Cengage.com and try to find it, it's gonna be more problematic for you. So go through our Blackboard, go to assignments and click this link. This link will always be at the top of the assignments page and it will always take you to our online text. So when you click it, after you've enabled pop-ups, which there is information on how to do that on the announcements area, after you've enabled pop-ups, you're going to click this link and what you see next is going to differ than what you're going to see on my screen because I've already registered and I have already enabled pop-ups and so this particular page will look different for you. What you will likely see is a page asking you what kind of subscription you want and or a page asking you to register. So based on the number of courses you're taking that use Cengage textbooks. If you have many courses this summer that use them, you probably want to do the unlimited subscription, which, which is a lower price and gives you access to all the online materials. If this English course is the only one that you're taking that requires a Cengage text, then you don't need to do that. You can do the more economical option, which I believe is $50. So you choose the subscription that you want, and then it will ask you to register. So it will ask, I believe, for your name and your date of birth, and then your access information. So when you ordered your textbook through the bookstore, you should have gotten a little card that had some numbers on it that you can key in to register your text. And that will give you uh, I believe it's a six month access to this content. There is a 14 day free trial, I believe, for Cengage. So if you don't have the funds yet or you're waiting for financial aid, you should still be able to register using that 14 day trial. Okay, so once you've done all that, you're going to get into your textbook and you will see hopefully the default for you will be week by week. And so by looking at this particular page, you see that you have two assignments due through MindTap uh, by Thursday. And that is to read chapter one, which is on planning, and then to take the quiz that's on the content that you read. For each of these chapters, there will be a quiz associated with it. And for the quizzes, I have set it up that you can take it up to three times and the system will record the best score that you have. So if you take quiz one, you get a two out of 10, you're not satisfied with that score, you can take it two more times and the system will take your best score. So hopefully that will help to 
uh, give you some extra extra experience and extra practice and content that you might um, want some more practice with. So that is your online textbook. For the most part, you're going to be reading chapter content, taking quizzes. There are lots of fun extra buttons over here on the right. We'll get into more of them later when we get into research. Feel free to dive around in there and see what they do. There are some handy resources like when you read your textbook, you can highlight things and keep track of things that you want to come back to later. Um, so browse around as you'd like, but for now, you only have to focus on reading those chapters and taking those quizzes. So if we go into week one, in addition to those reading and chapter quiz, I'm also asking that you introduce yourself via discussion board by Thursday at midnight. So when you do this, you will click that link and you will see a discussion board. And I already have a few students who have uh, done so. So you create a thread and it's going to ask you, what's your name? Where are you from? Where are you going to school? Um, how many trimesters have you been uh, at Western? And then a little bit of information about you. This just helps us to get to know each other a little bit more easily, a little bit more quickly. And if you do have a, a small picture that you wouldn't mind sharing, that would be great just because in an online environment, it helps me to get to learn your names and faces more quickly. And I feel a little closer to students when I can actually see them. If you don't want to share, that's fine too. Um, so each week you will have within your folders what you need to do laid out and they will be due on Mondays and Thursdays. What I will do is start putting a what's due and when at the top of those pages so that you can see what's due and when. The other thing to take note of is the Cengage tech report or tech support link. Um, Cengage can be problematic, unfortunately, but it's the textbook that we have and that we're working with. So if you do have access problems, please do give that 1-800 number a call. It's usually quick, relatively painless, and they can actually share your screen and help diagnose what's going on. And then contact information for me. I am not on campus this summer, but I am um, available through email, phone, Zoom, whatever works for you. And I do have regular office hours, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 1020 to 1120, which basically means I have my email open and I'm responsive to it. Um, and if you want to do more than email, we can certainly set that up. You are not obligated to be restricted to those dates and times. I will work around what works best for you. And then syllabus and schedule. The syllabus, as with every class, is kind of an overview of uh, guidelines, rules, grading structure. And then if you are a planner and you like to see everything visually laid out as to what's due and when, check out this weekly course calendar that gives you week by week um, what's due Monday, what's due Thursday. And if you have access to a printer, which I don't here at home, you can print that out. Otherwise, you could maybe leave it on your laptop, uh, desktop. So that's a quick overview. Um, there's a lot to get through in the first week as far as learning interfaces and learning online texts and, and doing some reading. Um, I would ask that you also take a look at your first essay assignment, which is under the week one folder, which is a process analysis essay. That just basically means you are talking or writing about how to do something or how a process works. For this first essay, I'm restricting you to a few specific topics. In future essays, I won't restrict you, uh, but I'd like you to focus on a few select topics for this first one that are geared toward our student audience. So take a look at that. I've given you the rubric and the assignment details along with a, a sample student essay from previous terms. And uh, familiarize yourself with that. You'll have assignments due relating to that in the coming weeks. So that's me. That's our course. If you have questions, concerns, comments, please let me know. Reach out to me via email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I look forward to working with each of you, helping you to become stronger, more confident writers. And uh, hopefully with this COVID weirdness, we can all muster through together and uh, give ourselves a focus to, to think about rather than uh, maybe worrying, which is what I tend to do when I don't have enough to occupy my brain. So uh, I look forward to working with each of you. And again, please let me know if you have any concerns. Take care.